started about a year ago. I decided I uh, wanted to move to Barcelona with my wife, and we, uh, I've always wanted to open up a brewery. I've uh, been a home brewer for a couple years, and uh, the project started getting bigger and bigger and bigger. And uh, I was at the Craft Brewers Convention and decided that I probably needed some professional help, and I met Alan out in San Diego, and uh, was fortunate enough to talk him into uh, packing his bags and moving to Barcelona. Yeah, it's a great opportunity to um, come to a beer city that's growing. Yeah, you looked all yeah. over the world and there was a lot of places, but the um, craft beer scene is, is young and fresh here and that really excites both of us to be back on kind of the ground floor again. We yeah, saw it grow exciting. in the States and now we have an opportunity to watch it grow here and actually be part of it. Right now we're brewing, you know, all styles. We started out with a Saison, which of course is a Belgian style. We're, we're traditionally and probably going to be brewing mostly American style ales, some West Coast ales, a lot of experimentation, a lot of seasonal brews. Uh, we really want to try and brew with the seasons along with our core base beers, which will be, you know, a stout, an amber, a porter, a pale ale, an IPA. But we're going to work real hard to have something new and fresh into the market every month or so in the tasting room we'll always have something experimental because I mean I have four experiments in the tasting room right now and we dry hopped a pale ale that he's drinking right now with Chinook after having a nice six hop tasting yesterday and deciding we'd go with Chinook on this one. Yeah, we definitely don't want to brew the same beers over and over and over that's boring. So. I think there's a, a lot of great breweries in Spain and, and the thing that makes us different doesn't necessarily make us better for sure. Uh, but we concentrated on trying to do an American craft brewery here in Spain, something that we're used to. We wanted to share that with the people in Barcelona. So we concentrated on bringing in American hops, fresh American hops that we bought from Yakima Valley. We took the, um, the time and like I said, the attention to detail of putting in a cold container, shipping it from the east coast of the States to Barcelona, we have a hop cooler, you know, with 6,000 kilo of hops. We uh, also bring our yeast in from San Diego from White Labs. Uh, we overnight that in. We, we're very adamant about live, fresh yeast, and then we also keep yeast cultures here. We have a yeast lab that'll help us um, keep control again, the attention to detail. And then again, we um, purchased all of our equipment from an American manufacturer that helps us provide, you know, just the uh, just. Equipment's equipment, but to have right. those those little details of um, quality and you know again the attention to detail from the yeast to the hops to the equipment and then to our brewing techniques right. and again the with the tasting room we want to help people experience what what we kind of are used to in the right. states. I mean, this is American craft beer brewed in Barcelona, like ingredients, equipment, everything. have to have pa passion, cleanliness, and, and a little bit of luck. A lot of luck, I think, <laughs> yeah. actually. <laughs> We're working towards a little bit of luck. Yeah. Right now, a lot of luck's helping. But really, just, I mean, just cleanliness and passion. I mean, ingredients are ingredients, and it really comes down to how you keep the equipment clean and how you take care of the yeast, and that'll give you a good product in the end. It really will. It's, it's attention to detail. Come explore. Come explore.